The story of black people in this part of the world was absent from the textbooks, from the literature. It was like our presence in this part of the world had been erased. That's why Cheryl Fogo decided to share her story in her book, Pouring Down Rain, a black woman claims her place in the Canadian West. It sheds light on what it was like to grow up here as a black woman in the 1960s. So I thought it was very important to write us into the records of this part of the world. Cheryl Fogo grew up right here in Calgary, walking these streets as a young woman. But often when asked where she was from, people were in disbelief. Just one of the many moments she felt like an outsider in her own home. People didn't seem to uh, quite be able to comprehend that. Now to a sold-out crowd during Black History Month, a month to honour black Canadians and their achievements. She speaks about her experiences and celebrates the 30th anniversary of her book's initial release. I knew there were people out there like me that hadn't read about us in the context of this part of the world. Acknowledging an issue that is deep and complex, Cheryl says education around black people and their fixed history in our province is one step toward removing negative attitudes still prevalent today. Absolutely racism still happens today in Calgary and Western Canada, definitely. I think it's important for people to understand that communities of colour have been here for as long as Europeans have been here and that we have every bit as much right to be here as anyone else. Inspired to share her story because there simply wasn't one like it, she's humbled to continue to brighten the dark spaces in black history with her work. I certainly never dreamed that I would be sitting here 30 years later in the same library where I launched the original book. In Calgary, Taylor Brott, City News.